All right, everyone, welcome back. It's Voodoo here, part three of Don't Starve, uh, attempt number two. Um, so, in uh, in this video, we're going to begin to actually build our home base. And in order to do that, we need to start by building a couple machines. So we're going to build a uh, a science machine. We're going to build it over pretty much right there. Uh, and we also uh, would like to build an alchemy engine, but we're going to need boards and cut stone. So we're going to refine. So I think I need to use the science machine to do this. We're going to refine. I actually have a shit ton of rocks. So we need to refine. Fine. All right, now I need boards, which means we need wood. So we're actually going to have to uh, go get some wood here. Not from here, though, because our sanity is going to get fucked up because of that tree. But, um, but yeah, we're, this is a nice big forest here. So we're going to go ahead and cut all this down. Or cut a good chunk of it down here just so that we can... Get enough logs to make boards. If I'm not mistaken, we need three logs to make a board, and we need four boards, so we're gonna need 12 logs. Or is it four logs to make a board? I don't remember. We either need 12 or 16, but we're gonna go ahead and probably get even more than that. I'm using twigs, too. I always am running low on twigs. I never have twigs, because I never think about picking them. Where I'm buying them. It's a nice big tree. Yeah, we're gonna build a lot of things. Basically, the first summer here is just building your camp up and up and up and up, more or less preparing for winter because winter sucks and we wanna make sure that. Um, you know, we have what we need. So we want, like, uh, drying racks, as many as we can get. Um, there's a plug sinkhole. We do want to go exploring this world, too. We're going to do that um, at some point. But, um, yeah, making, you know, drying racks, making a farms, which, unfortunately, here's another. Uh, is there a normal tree around here? Yeah, there has to be. Okay, so there's a couple of trees. There's a pig there, and actually, as I mentioned to you, pigs are, um, or actually they're not aggressive to you, uh, unless you fuck with them. And actually, look at this, we found a dead guy with a blow dart. Um, found two no totally normal trees already, but yeah, the pigs can actually be your followers if you give them food. Funny enough. And they can help you destroy shit. Because they're pretty powerful too, especially in groups. Um, okay, so we need to go ahead and refine these logs into boards. Um, put the machine here. Yeah, you need four. Oh, my inventory's full. That's okay, we'll drop this, these ashes. We don't really need them. All right, sweet. And now we can make it an alchemy engine. Now we're gonna put. Now you can also rotate the perspective. We're gonna put that right there. All right, so we got an alchemy engine now. Um, I also want to. Um, I want to make a chest as well. So we need to go get some more uh, wood. I'm gonna eat this more soul since it's starting to go bad, but, um, but yeah, we need to make, well, I want to make a chest to start putting shit in there that I don't need right now to clear, clear up my inventory, you know, oh boy, did you hear that, yeah, so now, alright, so now we're going to get attacked by these hound things, which means I need to make a rope, because I want to make a combat spear, because the spear does a lot more damage than the rest of this stuff. Um, so we're gonna make a rope, and then from that, we're going to make a spear. Equip that. Uh, we're gonna get attacked by a couple of... of, uh... 
hounds here, which actually, this could be good. Because what we're gonna probably do is when they attack, we're gonna lead them down to the area with the beefalo and those pissed off pigs. And we might get them all to fight each other and we might kill some of the pigs um, while doing this. So this is not that bad, actually. Sometimes those hounds, when they attack, can be a pain in the ass, but right now it's actually not that big a deal. There's only gonna be a couple. And, um, and uh, when they do attack, like I said, I guess I pick out manure as well to make farms. But, um, you know, when they attack, they're gonna be in for a nasty fucking surprise. I'm hoping they attack soon, because I don't want it to be nighttime. I actually want to lead them to the pigs more than I want to lead them to the beefalo, but... So I want those pigs gone. <sighs> Any day, I'm ready. I did hear it, and I'm hoping they attack. Here we go, alright. So this isn't... Oh! Pig hit me. There we go. There is all kinds of shit happening. Well, the hound died. <laughs> he didn't really kill any of the pigs, because the pigs, like I said, are pretty damn tough. But, uh, it's okay, we got the hounds off our back, so one way or another we win. I'm hurting my food a little bit. Might need to... I might need to, uh, uh go food fuck. That snuck up on me. Alright, well. We'll eat our carrots. Eat some seeds. I probably could kill a beefalo, but... Right now I don't really want to. Um, yeah, just... I'm probably gonna go ahead and let those flower petals in my inventory rot, because when they rot, they can be used to fertilize stuff. And, um... Yeah. We can, we can fertilize stuff for farms with it. Just go ahead past the night. Any day, or any night, however you want to look at it. All right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and what we were doing, we were chopping wood for uh, for boards to make a chest. That's right. But I actually do want to check and see what we need to make the, uh, the farms. The drying racks. I know we're going to need charcoal, and to get charcoal, we're gonna need to burn down some trees. But um, for now. Make, I want to make an improved farm. Can I already make one? Rocks, grass, and manure. So the question is where do I want to start my farms? I think I want to start them here. I want to be here a train. It's a train. So yeah, we need a lot of manure actually to make farms, but. Ah! A koala fit track. We're actually going to go after this thing right now because um, we're going to get a shit ton of meat out of it if we do. So the only way to actually find these things is to track them this way. Um, you will never run across one of these just walking around. Um, you have to basically just track, you know, follow the tracks. Avoid these fucking frogs. Where's the, where's the next third pod? 
Where's the next dirt? Here it is, it's hidden behind this grass. It's pointing down this way, I believe. Yep, over here. No, investigate it. Alright, so at a point, we'll come across a fresh track. And then we'll run right into the koala fence, and we do. He's pretty easy to kill. I kind of feel bad killing him because they are they're kind of cute little critters, but um, they give us too much stuff to let live. This is a long track, actually. Of footprints. Damn. Oh, we're taking care of some exploring while we're doing this. There's a shitload of spiders right there. Damn! Still haven't found a fresh one. How far out is he? Alright, there we go. Alright, here he is. Cute little critters, you can see. Unfortunately, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to use our blow dart. Because, uh, he will run. Until you attack him. What the fuck? Uh, that's not supposed to happen. Once you attack him, he's supposed to follow you, not... Well, this shit ain't good. Now I don't have any way to, uh, fucking... Chase him to the coastline or something. Here we go. We're not gonna be able to get out of this. What? You got out? What the fuck? Come on, man. Dude. Well, this wasn't the way it's supposed to go. I don't know why he's running now. As soon as you hit him with the blow dart or something, he's supposed to, like. Well, this fucking sucks. Hold on. I didn't want to do that, but... Uh, he's lighting everything on fire. That hurt. There we go. Alright, now as you can see, he dropped a shit ton of meat. He dropped eight meat and a trunk. Um, which is pretty damn awesome because uh, that gives us a lot of food. Fuck off, frog. I'm not interested. Um, I wish I had drying racks to actually dry that meat, but I don't. Um, so, we're just gonna have to, like, cook it. As it is, and eat it, and, uh, kill, a, kill another one later. Um, yeah, I kinda took up my day, but... I couldn't really pass that up just because of the supplies and stuff that we get from doing it. Um, go south here. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna keep picking or er, chopping some trees until nighttime. Since that's what we were trying to do to begin with. So I want to make more farms. I want to make I want to make drying racks, and I want to make uh, a crock pot, so we can cook simple ingredients in the crock pot into uh, food, you know paired foods, which really gives us a boost. Actually, like home cooked meals give you a boost on all three things: sanity, health, and hunger, and that is uh, that's pretty helpful. I already have an eggplant. Do that. 
See, if we had a crock pot, we could actually... Now, I guess I should chop this one tree and then head home. But, uh... So yeah, if we had a crock pot, we could cook that eggplant. Um, and eat it. Could cook that eggplant with some other stuff and make a, like stuffed eggplant and stuff like that. So, chill here for the night. I think um, I'm gonna go get what I need to make a chest, and then I'm gonna actually head off and get some charcoal, which is what we need to make the crock pot and the drying racks. Like I said, you get charcoal by burning down trees, so um, we're gonna have to find a little patch of secluded trees and burn them. And uh, harvest them to get our charcoal. And then once we start getting all that stuff going, we can actually, uh, you know, once we start getting a regular supply of food, we can actually venture out some and start exploring some more of the, uh, the world. All right, it is daytime. So we're gonna go ahead and chop some more trees down. Um, it's actually good that we're by these evil flowers because we can, uh, we can use them later on to make this stuff called nightmare fuel, which we need to make a lot of our magic, uh, items. Damn, that fire staff, I used it twice on accident, I only, only meant to use it once. It takes 5% per use. That's pretty serious. Um, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that. We should have what it, what it takes now to uh, make our chest, so. Is it three or four boards? I don't know. I'm only going to make three. I'm going to go to our, uh, I forget what engine it is that makes the chests, but. There we go. Yep, only needs three boards. All right. So we're going to start making our chests. I think we should make our chests pretty Pretty close to the fire, actually. So, now we're gonna open this sucker up, and we're gonna start putting stuff in there we don't really need right now, like the reeds, the nitrite, uh, the trunk, put the flowers in there to rot, um, put the wool in there, and we're gonna keep this other stuff for the time being. So now, I'm going to go out and get some charcoal. So we gotta find a good little area to burn down here. We're not gonna burn down the area with the... I guess we could set fire to this area. So now here's a question. Is using our fire staff to light this... It actually does take away its use. Okay. That's unfortunate, but we now know that. So we're gonna burn this area down. And uh, it's going to leave us charcoal. It's okay, actually, because we can just we can replant uh, this area with pine cones. See, it's dropping charcoal. Killed something along the way. Get out of our charcoal here. Wilson bitching about being hungry. Cook some of that meat later. Um, did this burn? Alright, so now we're actually going to take our pine cones. We're actually going to replant this forest. And that way this forest will be a renewable resource for us to get some charcoal. So, that's what we're going to do. And now... 
come here and see. Make a drying rack, we need rope. Okay, sweet. Hold on, we need to invent it first. Drying rack. So now we gotta figure out where we wanna put our drying rack. So farms, we're probably gonna start them right here, right in front of these machines. Right here. And we can dry meat on there just like that. That's gonna dry into jerky, and that jerky is very, very helpful. Um, and more sticks and rope. And find another couple sticks. Make another drying rack. Put another thing of meat on there, and then we'll probably cook. Uh, we'll cook probably maybe I don't know four of them to eat. Because you can see he's starting to get hungry. So uh, try to make them somewhat level, even. Try the meat. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start a fire. Unfortunately, we use the board. Oh, no, no, we already made the chest. That's right. Got another crop. We can plant again. I'm going to start our fire, and we're going to cook. Uh, we're going to cook this morsel. We're going to eat it. And we're, going to, we're going to eat this pomegranate. And we'll cook, uh, I don't know, let's say three. Cook three meat and we'll eat. All right, it's pretty good. I'm gonna save the other one in case for an emergency. But yeah, so this will be our final, uh, our final night for this um, this video. But we're doing good, you know. We have a home base set up. We're starting to move. We got a farm. We got a couple drying racks. So in the next part, we're going to continue to build our uh, our home. We're going to. Uh, We're gonna make some some uh, some more farms, and we're gonna make some more drying racks, and we're gonna make a crock pot. And uh, hopefully by the end of next video, we have a good amount of each of those. And then at that point, we will um, we'll go from there. We'll start moving on and exploring maybe a little bit. I need to get home here. Some time. There we go. And uh, yeah, just sit here, kind of survive the night, and uh, we'll go from there. So, pretty good. We're doing good so far. It's going to take a while for that meat to dry. Um, jerky is so good, number one, because it takes forever to go bad. Um, it really doesn't go bad. Like, it takes a very long time. And number two, when you eat it, it actually increases, I believe, all three areas. Hunger, health, and sanity. So, really, it's making the jerky is much better than just eating the meat. Um, you know, it really pays off for you in the long run. Uh, luckily, we're next to the beefalo, so we can get kind of a endless supply of meat there, as long as we don't overhunt and uh, wipe out their herd. I'm gonna go pick up this, these seeds, and uh, yeah, so, alright guys, that's gonna do it for this part, um, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'm Voodoo, and until next time, Voodoo, you Voodoo.